How's it going everyone? My name is Timo and welcome to a new video of Team Road Sky. Yeah, that's a new intro, I know. Okay, let's move that aside. So today I'm going to show you guys an awesome deck that I've been working on for quite a long time now. And it's actually been spoiled in the last video that I made, The Return, that's the name of it. Uh, where I'm explaining everything that I'm going to be doing now in the channel. So this is the first video and I hope that you guys noted that there's a big difference in quality right now. But I hope everything's fine. If you see some problems or if you have any tips, by the way, this is the, my camera and that's my uh, phone. And then, of course, that is my webcam, which is just not that bad, not that good, but, but oh, excuse me. Uh, but that's fine, right? So uh, this is the new video. I hope you guys will be enjoying it. And if you have any comments, just let me know. Okay, and now let's get into it. So this is a deck list video where I'm going to be talking about my new deck, right? So uh, this deck box over here can move to the side. Uh, so we're talking about exactly Reggie Draco V-Star. So let's focus on this bad boy. There we go. So this is Reggie Draco V-Star. I um, When I first saw this card, I was just so hyped. It is unbelievable. Okay, let me just take off the amount that I need. There we go. So I sorted everything out, so it's nice and flowy with the video. Uh, but now we have Reggie Draco V-Star. We have three copies of it. Um, that is in the deck, because what is Reggie Reg Draco V-Star? Of course, obviously, we have to know that. Uh, it's basically a Dragon V-Star Pokemon with 280 HP, which is awesome. And then we have Apex Dragon, the attack. But it's all around. It's all about this attack. Um, so Grass, Grass and Fire. And then you have the effect because no damage. Choose an attack from a dragon Pokemon in your discard pile and use it as this attack. Which is awesome. I love this so much. This is amazing. I like this because you can do a lot of different attacks, right? There's so many options of attackers and that's why I'm so excited about this card because it's nice. First of all, it's dragon, which is awesome. I just love it so much and I've never been able to play with it. And now it's back because it got removed for a couple of uh, sets. But, and all of a sudden they just decided, I right, let's bring it back. So that's that, that's that. Dragon is back. Um, but yeah, when I saw this card, I was immediately hyped. I love Reggie Draco. I think it's an awesome Pokemon with this little dangly feet. Um, and I just love the concept of it and also love the energies because, I mean, fire and grass are just awesome. Then we have Legacy Star, the V-Star power. So basically, if you don't know, a V-Star power is literally just an attack or an ability that you can only use once each game. Yeah, that's right. So once each game, you can use this leg 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 sorry, leg <laughs> Legacy Car... Uh, leg <laughs> legacy Star... Sorry. Leg legacy Car... Oh my god this ability <laughs> uh, and then during your next turn no, sorry during your turn you may uh, discard the top seven cards of your deck and then put two, up to two cards from your discard pile into your hand which is to be sure to, to let you guys know it is not and i repeat not the two cards from those seven it's two cards from your discard pile so late game this is incredibly powerful because then you have your entire deck Almost in the discard pile. You can pick any card you need. But it's also great for mid game. Because you can just set up with it. Or start game. You can set up with it. It gives you options basically. It's a great, great, great ability. Especially with this attack combined. You can put some cards in there. If you're lucky. You might also be unlucky. And just put every single Dredge Draco V-Star that you have here. But then you have things like Ordinary Rod or whatever. Uh, there's many ways to get your Pokemon back from the discard pile. So that's okay. But it's a great, great, great ability. Now, that is basically our Pokemon. Then, of course, we have the V, which I'm going to go over very shortly. So, also from Silver Tempest, obviously. Uh, so, Celestial Roar for a Colorless. Uh, puts two top top three cards from your deck into your hand. Uh, and if it's... No, oh, into discard card, sorry. And if there are any energy cards, you have to attach them to him. So, basically, if there's a fire and you have already have a fire, you're kind of screwed. Because you can't just say, okay, never mind, I'm going to put it in the discard pile. No, you have to attach it. But honestly, I think it's fine. I think that's a great attack just to have as a backup if you really have to, if you're very desperate. Uh, and then you have also in a secondary attack, Dragon Laser, for the same attack cost as your Rich Draco V-Star attack. Uh, 130 damage and also the 30 damage to one of your benched opponent's Pokemon, which is pretty nice. I think that is just an awesome, awesome attack. Uh, yeah, probably one of the best attacks that you have on a V-Star, on a V-Pokemon. 
because you can snipe it, you can deal damage with it. It's a pretty nice attack to have as a nice backup. It might even save you some games if you can take your last knockout on the bench. You know, who knows? You never, you never know. But then you have, of course, all the dragon options that you need in your discard for attacking. Now, maybe some of these are very obvious and maybe some of these aren't. In my opinion, I think that Gudra, Duraladon, and Garatina and Dragonite are the best attackers that you have. And you're probably going to be putting them in every single Rage Draco V-Star deck that exists. But then I also decked in a Flygon V for things like Mew VMAX, for things like Duraladon VMAX, for things like um, Kieran VMAX, which is also pretty popular lately. Uh, why? Because it does 160 and it does 160 more if it's a VMAX Pokemon, which is literally 320 damage. Awesome. Not enough to KO a Kieran VMAX, but you also have Choice Belt, which I run two of in this deck. So the chance of you knocking one shot is awesome. Pretty good with this guy. Uh, you do have to discard three, po three energies from this Pokemon, but that is okay because... If you can, if you are able to knock out a V Max in one shot, that is pretty powerful. So it's an awesome option. Now, he's suing Gudra V Star. Why do I think it's one of the strongest cards to have with Rich Draco V Star? Well, Rolling Iron deals to the damage, which is okay, but it it it, it it basically helps out with its effect. So during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage from attacks, which is great. Literally gives you 80 damage reduction that is awesome literally turns a uh, garatina v star into only 200 damage which is definitely not enough to one shot you literally a dragonite would then only deal 100 damage that is so sad honestly one only 100 damage bro you, you should go to the gym that is exactly what you want to do with gudra v star it might be a great option if you can take a knockout with it but if you can't then you might as well go for something like a garatina v star so if you want to take not one shot on like a V star, right? That's all almost only. No, I think the max that a V star has is 280. But Reggie Giga's V star that's coming out has 300 HP, so that's something different. But this one here does 280 damage, which is awesome. But there is some downfall, and that is that you have to put two energies attached to your Pokemon into the Lost Zone. It only does two energies on your pokemon so not only the one that is attacking you could just do it from a pokemon that's on the bench which is a good option but you can't get them back off obviously since it's a lost zone so that's pretty sad but 280 damage a great option should put it in here just like this boy um the best matchups to use this guy in is basically one prizes reggie reggie gigas for example or uh what about lost zone for example that's also a good option um, and then Giratina obviously is just great in any map show, that matchup where you can take a knockout with it. Uh, yeah, those two are definitely in the deck. I think everyone should play them. Now, Duraladon VMAX. This this man is just so great. It does 220 damage, which is fine. And then you have it at its effect, which um, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Basically, ignores damage reduction ignores just in the all like immunity to v pokemon for example decidueye miltank all those guys they're just they're they don't stand a chance to this man this man here is just so crazy the raladon v star of vmax is just incredible i think it's a great card for this deck gives you so many options uh make sure that you like can't be blocked by something like decidueye since there is nothing else that attacks here uh, other than V Pokemon, so it's just awesome and very necessary. Then you have Dragonite, which is honestly a great attacker if you just need to set up, but also want to deal damage. If you're able to use Energy Hurricane, deal 180, and get three basic energy from your deck and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like, you could just set up another Dredge Draco V Star on the bench if you see that you really have to, otherwise, you're probably gonna lose your game because your Reggie Draco Vista on the active spot is just gonna get knocked out and then of course you can like put the other one in front because you just use this card sorry I'm having a lot of burps <laughs> uh, my pardon for that but yeah that's just a great attacker and those were basically all the dragon Pokemon in this deck which is quite a lot already so we have a tree tree line and then uh five attacking options so that's pretty good 
now how are we gonna set up right how are we gonna set up this guy how are we gonna set up this game well we're gonna start off with three copies of mew from celebrations uh first of all i want to just say this artwork is so cute adorable i love it so much and then we have mysterious tale so once during your turn if this pokemon is in the active spot you may look at the top six cards of your deck and reveal an item and put them into your hands you don't even have to show it Oh no, you have to reveal it, sorry. You don't even have to, like, make him asleep, that's all I want to say. Because Jirachi, remember, who remembers from Team Up, um, Jirachi was a meta card, and it's literally like this, only not with uh, item, but with trainer cards, and it was only top 5, and it would fall asleep if you use the ability. But this is awesome, because it doesn't fall asleep, and you can use multiple of these guys a turn. So if you have 3 of them, you use one, you get a switch, you switch... You use this one as well, and then you get Bird Keeper, you just Bird Keeper. You can use that one, right? That's basically how it works. So why do we have it here? Because we run things like Poke Gear to get supporters. We run things like Energy Surge to get energies. We run things like Quick Balls or Ultra Balls or Evolution Instance to get the Pokemon we need. It's a great card for this deck. Has one retreat cost, which is not the best, but it's better than nothing. And I think this is a great card for here. Also, just a great starting option, since the only thing that we have right now is... Literally, Registraco V and a Flygon. By the way, Flygon, I think you could, like, if you really don't want any bad Pokemon in your active spot, because you might start your hand with this guy and have nothing else to put there, um, then you might not want it because he has two retreat cost and it's a dead card in, like, in play. You can't use it at all. Um, so you might want to take it out. Maybe swap it out for a Garchomp V because that guy has 220 on any Pokemon. And it has free retreat cost. So, yeah. But you can also just swap out the Flygon with something different. There are so many different cards you can use. This is, again, just my list, right? Now, what do we do if we can get the energies, right? How do we attach? How do we accelerate energy? Well, in my way, I think the consistent way is just go with Leafeon V. Many people do things like Rillaboom. Rillaboom from Sword of Shield, because that's a great card, right? But it's a stage two. How are you going to do that so consistently, right? Like, no. No, you're not. Now you have Leafeon V here. Awesome. Awesome. First of all, lovely Pokemon. And then two of them. Two of her, because maybe one is prized, right? Uh, but basically, what does he do? So he has an ability, Greening Cells. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a grass energy card and attach it to one of your pokemon then shuffle your deck and use this uh if you use this ability your turn ends pretty good right it attaches an energy it accelerates an energy onto your reg draco v star which is great because you could use it when you're first you could use it when you're second it doesn't really matter so if you attach from hand attach with her and then again with from hand your doll said and done you can attack uh, so that's great for starting the game off with him. Uh, one, one retreat cost. The attack is pretty mediocre. There's 90 and then 60 more if you flip heads with a coin. Um, so that's definitely not a good option. But if you really need it, well, I guess you should. Then what do we do to make this boy better? Well, we have the Leafeon V-Star. Yes, we have here uh, this great card. So we have... It's a promo. Yeah, it's a promo. Um, why do I put it here? That's a good question. Actually, just for the ability, that is the V-Star power, is literally just a boss's order. Once on your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's Pokemon uh, with their active. It's literally just a boss order, but in a V-Star ability. So, like, imagine this situation, right? You put them down, you have a rigid Draco, you already at the accelerated, right? It's, like, kind of mid-game now, and you see you have a big opportunity to knock something out on the bench that you really have to, like, Lugia V, right? And that's the only Lugia V that they have in play. Oh, my God. Well, let's just look her up with this bitch. Bam, put them down, swap them out, and there you go. It's finished. So, that is why it's in here. It's an awesome boss's order. Um, By the way, also, leave guard. 180 and it takes 30 less damage next turn it's a great backup attack if you can get another red draco v in play or you don't have any fire energies left or something like that it's a big great backup attacker and it also has 260 hp which makes it a bit more bulky compared to the 200 on the Leafeon v all right so that was it now we have two more um consistency cards one of which is radiant greninja yes that's right radiant greninja awesome looking card literally a shiny greninja 
who doesn't like that um but yeah why is it here because concealing cards it's an ability uh, you must discard an energy from your hand in order to use this ability once on your turn and you may draw two cards awesome 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 you literally just draw two cards by discarding an energy and you can get it back with things like energy recycler or uh ordinary rods or uh what is the name oh yeah training court it's a stadium and puts an energy from your discard into your hand awesome right and it also has this awesome attack but i'm not going to be using it so i'm not even going to explain it uh, but yeah, that's day three, just a great draw engine. You can also loop it with uh, or uh, scoop them net because it's pick uh, pick up bull. Then we have Crobat V, which is uh, basically a stable. So you put it in, put it down to play, and then you draw until you have six cards in your hand. Um, yeah, if you do, if you don't have any cards in your hand, only a quick ball, awesome, and you still have cards, right? So uh, yeah, that's the only reason everyone knows this card. Now on to the trainers. So this is already what we have. We already went through this. This took the longest. I'm very sorry that it took so long, guys. But don't worry, it's gonna get quicker. Okay. So we have two training court. Yes, this is my stadium for choice. Why? Because it's just awesome, right? Discarding is what we have in the deck. So being able to get energy back is just awesome. Because then you don't have to be afraid of discarding energy. You can literally get your fire energies quicker. You need a fire energy, you need a green, a grass energy. It's just a better stadium in this deck, I think. Also pairs well with Greninja, so yeah, definitely a good option. So two of those. And then, of course, we run for Professor's Research. It does discard, it draws seven. What more do you want? Uh, yeah, that is just my option. That's my way to go. Then we have another backup attacher, Gardenia's Vigor. We run two of her. What does she do? Well, it's basically a welder, if anyone remembers that. Draw two cards. If you drew any cards this way, um, attach up to two grass energy cards from your hand to one of your benched Pokemon. So basically, first draw, then attach two, and it has to be a bench. Okay, well, um, welder was a bit better, a uh, bit worse in that regard, because you first had to attach up to two. Uh, fire energy and then draw three cards but you drew at least three cards right and it was on any pokemon so that in that regard was much better but gardenia's figure is all right not the best but it is a great backup option if you can use her uh, that's why it's in here then we run to serena uh, serena is a new trainer card a new supporter uh, i think she's awesome so basically she has two options uh choose one Discard up to three cards and it must be at least one. That's a very important thing. You can't forget about that rule. Uh, and if you do draw cards until you have five in your hand. So it's a great option if you have to draw and this is the only thing you have in hand. But the main reason why it's in it is because the other option. Switch one of your opponents benched V Pokemon with their active. It's a boss's order for V. Which is great. Most of the time when you use boss's order you only want to use the, the V. right? You only want to take the V. But if you can't, then it's not a dead card, right? If it was, then it would be a dead card. But now it's not because you have an extra draw option. So that's why it's in here. And then one extra backup attacker, uh, backup charger, which is Raihan. So imagine this, right? We're in a tight spot and we don't have anything anymore. And like we have two energies on the other French Deco V. Raihan could help us out. We can use him. You can only use him when there is a Pokemon knocked out during my opponent's last turn. So when my Pokemon died and I have I have to come back, right? This guy helps me. So basically it says attach basic energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And if you do, search your deck for a card. So any card. Awesome. Just awesome. Just a great card. I think it's just it's just an awesome card. So basically, just to repeat, we have two Serena, one Ryan, two Gardenia's figure, and four Professor Research. Which is, I think, more than enough. Yeah. Now, off to the items. So we run four Quick Ball, which is pretty obvious, right? So we have an older version, which is different text, but it doesn't matter. Uh, since it's the same name. But four Quick Ball. Uh, of course, discard a card from your hand. And then search your deck for a basic Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Awesome card. Perfect for this deck. Uh, perfect to set up, perfect to discard. It's just the best card in this deck, honestly. Then we run three Ultra Ball because it discards and looks for any Pokemon. So perfect for the evolution, perfect for basics. It's anything. It's great. It's great. And it discards two cards. Also an older, but it's the same card, so it doesn't matter. 
Uh, but yeah, three of those. Okay, so three copies of those. Four of Quick Ball, three of Ultra Ball. And then, obviously, we can't miss this three evolution incense i would normally play four but i think three are more than enough since you can just choose you don't need all the evolutions all the time so i think this is all uh, fine um so three evolution incense looks for an um, evolution pokemon of any choice put it into your hands awesome card too basically what you would normally do is uh use this first right and then uh use your ultra ball on this guy that you just looked up right then, uh, because we're running a lot of Mew, uh, I put in two Switch cards because this Switch is, is like literally a Switch, but uh, also heal sturdy, so it's a nice extra heal. Um, maybe, maybe potentially it's a game changer, who knows? Uh, but it's just there to switch, honestly. Then, one Ordinary Rot, uh, which shuffles up to two Pokemon from my discard pile into the deck, and also shuffles two basic energy from my discard pile into the deck, which is nice very good i like that a lot and then we've got energy search um this is also an older card but it's just, it, it works so search your deck for a basic energy and show it to your opponent and put it into your hand literally you have to, you need to have this right it's for the mew uh and it looks up for a fire or a grass you probably need your fire because there's only four in here four fire so that's very necessary then we've got pokey gear so this is still legal. Uh, this is a promo from uh, Unbroken Bonds, but there is also a reprint of it in Sword and Shield, so it's still legal. Um, but yeah, so this guy, why is it in here? So you can look it up with Mew and then look for a supporter. So it, this might be a potential extra Serena or an extra Raihan or an extra whatever. You just need this so badly. So it's awesome with Mew. Then how are we going to retreat our Mew? Well, we have two Air Balloon. So we've got two switching card and two air balloon, which should be more than enough. Since you can also look it up with Mew itself, so perfect, perfect, perfect. You attach it, retreats, uh, the retreat cost goes down by two. Also great for the Flygon, just saying, but yeah, that is uh, our out actually to Flygon. Uh, and Mew, so perfect. And then we've got two other two cards, which is Choice Belt. So you attach it, and what does it do? Um, your Pokemon does 30 more damage to opponent's V Pokemon. Which is just awesome to just look up and change out the number, right? So like, you're not doing enough damage with, for example, Giratina V-Star for a Mew VMAX. Mew VMAX has 310 HP. Well, this basically helps out with that. It turns the 280 into 310 or turns the 180 from Dragonite into 210, which might be enough to knock out the V, right? So that's why it's here. Awesome card. It is kind of necessary for Rich Drago V Star, I think, honestly. And now, off to the last part, which is the basic energies. So we run uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we run seven of these energies. So seven grass energies. You might say, mm, that's not enough. But hey, uh, I tested and I feel like I have a consistent amount of energies in play. So I think it's fine since we look it up with our cards and also look it up with our Leafeon V. So we're fine, I think. And then we got, of course, well, like I said, four fire energy to attach. So yeah, that is basically the deck. I hope you guys uh, understood a little bit of what I said because I think I might have been very quick, but honestly, we'll see. Okay, so if you guys are have any questions, just let me know, all right? Uh, if you have any complaints as well, just let me know. If you have any tips, also let me know. You can also go into the Discord. There's a Discord link in our channel. Uh, definitely check it out. It's an awesome server. Uh, but yeah, that's it, basically. So that was my deck list to show you guys my Rich Draco V-Star deck list. I hope it was clear. And I'm definitely going to show you guys some gameplay with it in real life with my girlfriend. So be prepared for that. Um, you can also find the deck list uh, in the link in the description, I'm gonna put a, a card.io link in there because I made the deck online as well, but it's private. But I'm gonna post it online, I'm gonna publish it, and I'm gonna share you guys the link in the description. So be sure to look out for that. Uh, and other than that, I hope you guys have a good day further. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and put on notifications subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you guys next time in a new video about rich drink of easter by the way all right have a good day further and i hope you guys have a great evening further bye lads fist bump